Well, good morning. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I am so happy to be here to see you all on this it's 27th day of 30 Days of Powerful Mastermind Secrets, Mastermind Affirmations, Meditations, Deep Cleansing, I think Detoxifying Wisdom, and kind of a light to guide you by. So I'm welcoming all of you here. Today is going to be a very unique and interesting day because today is the full moon eclipse, uh, excuse me, the new moon eclipse, and so much is in store for us because it is a portal. So today we're going to talk about a few little guidelines to get through that portal, perhaps what to even expect as we go through it, because it is what some astrologers and prophesizers are calling the beginning of the new world. So I am Joan of Angels, also known as Dr. Joan Hangarter, but more and more as Joan of Angels, for the work that I do bringing messages from the divine beings to uplift, heal, re-inspire, reinvigorate, help you bring back memories of who you are and why you're here. And it's my love, it's my passion, I do it inside and out because that's what I was instructed. That's my personal mission that was given to me and to help you find your personal mission. Suzanne, share the download with us. I'd be so happy to see it and we'll work it in because today and tomorrow are that powerful, my loves. So, whew, yes, I would love to hear what downloads any of you have been having as I share the wisdom that I've been given today on, on this most of powerful days. So up until now, we've been sharing different guidelines and wisdom on how to remove the veils that keep you from shining your light. So perhaps part minding your master, master mastering your mind into uplifting positive vibrations at the same time, being like a windshield wiper, right? And clearing away anything that was really literally in your way of receiving those divine messages. And Spirit woke me up and said, just in time, my dear, for today, when it is really time to gather, hmm, so gather where we are, gather ourselves. understand that letting go, number one, of everything. And that's what this eclipse is. Imagine the eclipse is like a doorway to your new life. And so if I gave you a magic wand, I'm waiting for your downloads or private message me for later, hun, because I really want, you know, really we want to see them. Darren, any downloads? Let us know what those are, okay? So today's a day between today and tomorrow, okay, of having like a magic wand. So today, this, which is serving as my magic wand, I hope I have this too, uh, but taking our magic wand and using it to clear away as we've been doing, okay, the last few days in the healings that have been occurring in the, in the videos the last few days, I've taken you through a body, mind, and spirit alignment, some of which is very powerful, so we could get to this place today where we can line up our chakras so that we are actually in perfect alignment to deconstruct all that is not working so we don't bring it with us through that gateway but what we do take with us through that gateway is all of our brilliance, all of our mastery, all of our destiny, all of that which we are here to do without being clouded. Does that make sense? So aligning inside of our energy, let's just do a little clearing, but not much because we've done so much. All of you who've worked with me are ready 
for today, ready now to write down what that is that your magic wand, so let's say this is the world magic wand. And when I wave it across you, you feel it. It activates your magic miracle wand, your magic miracle high vibrational destiny manifester prosperity shifter wand, okay? All the names that we could call it, and you know Merlin and King Arthur, they had a name for their wand and their sword. Excalibur was the sword. So naming your wand, this very powerful manifester of your miracles, because when you wave it now, it literally will part the curtains and there you be on the other side. So who will you be on this other side? So right now we have an opportunity to actually feel into and create a portal on the other side. Yes, yes, yes using the download, using the symbols. Today is a day for writing, channeling, bringing forward imagery, symbols, understanding, wisdom, even if it's just one word, even if it's just a drawing of a wand that's shifting the energy by your side. And you know, your hands are awfully gosh darn powerful, my loves, and I even encourage the developing of rings that will help you hold that energy so that when you go like this, that energy beams right off of you. Do you feel it this morning? Let me know. Let me know on a scale of one to 10 where that energy sits with you right now because that will really help. So we are today calling in our destiny and why not? So we start by sending our roots down to the earth from our first, second, third, fourth. We just send them straight down as if we have an antenna up here that's going up to the heavens and imagining now this antenna, boy, I actually literally feel it. Whoa, It's and it weighs. You would see it if you could see my energy going through your spine. Now it's going to bring that perfect alignment in your spine, every vertebrae stacked up perfectly so that the information is transmitted through both your physical spinal cord and your spiritual cord, that spiritual connection to the divine spirit world, but it's a direct straight cord. So today, my loved ones, when you go out under that new moon and you do your new moon prayers and your meditations, I encourage you, number one, to sage yourself and your household because for, you are saging the old. This is the, the new year. This is the new world today. This marker, this moment. So using your sage to purify yourself and your house and the air around you. Very critical, very critical. And then music from the highest of frequencies. And I recommend, you know, the, 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 I recommend high frequency music, especially if you find some ch uh, of the bowls the crystal bowls or the ohm chanting music on YouTube as you sage your home to bring in the higher frequency. I recommend that you use your wand to clear you and your energy, and then you actually literally command forth what it is you want. So this time, I command, whew, I command a clearing of the field and the pathway as I step forward onto my destiny. I trust my intuition and my guidance to bring forth exactly what we need. Bringing limitless opportunities, large sums of money and prosperity, 
opportunities manifesting that which I love to do. I trust the intuitive guidance that comes forward through me. I trust my inner voice. I trust the wisdom, the knowledge, the divine messages from my guides, my ancestors, the ascended master beings, those archangels, those star beings that have walked with me since the beginning of time. I trust that all is aligned so that that which I am to do, that which is the destiny I came here, be aligned now in this moment, bringing only opportunity, only joy, only blessings, wisdom, leadership, miracles, mastermind, opportunities, the ability to walk, hear, see, and know the truth as it is for me. And we welcome that God spark within us, that awakening source, that understanding that we, we, we are that divine spirit, that source that carries that energy, and yes, as Suzanne says, we are being awoken. And so today and tomorrow, hold the seeds of complete and utter transformation as you walk into your destiny and we say yes. Say yes, I accept my destiny. Let me see that. Yes, I accept my destiny. Yes, I walk in alignment with the intuitive voice, the intuitive guidance that I receive that leads me by my heart, that opens the visions to that which I came here to do, that allows me to hear the voice of spirit, the voice of my intuitive self, the voice, the voice of my departed loved ones so that every step I take is in complete alignment from this moment forward. And on this other side, I am stepping into that life of abundance, abundance that comes from doing that which I know is my destiny. So the more I step into that destiny, the more I serve in the way Spirit has shown me how, the more alignment in the energetic material world. I live in the home that Spirit has sourced for me that holds the highest of vibrational frequencies and everywhere I look, I see the divine reflected back to me. I wear clothing that sits and stirs my soul and awakens my human potential. I speak words of truth to you, to my friends, to spirit, to source, to those who will hear this later, that we activate the DNA, the blood, the circulation, the lymph, the nerve flow within you to trigger that so you are walking in a higher vibration on higher ground so that which you came here to do manifests now for the curtain has been parted and so it is. For each and every one of you has come here to do something unique and special that only you can do. What is that, my dear ones? When we are done, grab that pen, grab that paper, and put it down, as I will as well, for Spirit is speaking truth through you. You are all light beings. You all came here for that purpose, and we affirm that now. And so it is. We, the spirit world, the, the beings, for I am but a channel that brings messages here for you, messages here for me, messages here for the greater we. Yes, Suzanne, I have chills as well. Ladies, my friends, my male, my female, all of us coming together, the way is so clear. The way is so clear. Listen to that God, God spark. Listen to that heart. Align yourself for today and tomorrow are the days when that complete alignment is thoroughly and absolutely possible. Imagine right now 
that your godmother is right here and she is oh my goodness you can see her all right well i i saw her first on my right and i was going to say well you can see her on the right but then she said no 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 i'm also on the left i can be in all places some of you will see her on the left and some of you will see her on the right awfully gosh darn cute but you all have a a little um, guardian angel much like cinderella Cinderella, her guardian, and um, her fairy godmother, yes. Yes, yes, fairy godmothers are true. Fairy godmothers are real. And we can ask their help as we write out and call it this. You're writing out your divine. It's, it's half request and half ordering up. Because remember, when we order ham and eggs, we're ordering it up. So actually, we're ordering, we're ordering the fulfillment of the projects for which we have seeded many, many uh, details and the foundation of which you have spent centuries seeding, my loves. Those seeds are coming to fruition now, powerfully, as we walk into that destiny and say, yes, I am and yes, I claim it. Do you see it on the other side? I do. So here it is, guys. You are ordering it up. You are ordering it up from this side. And when you get on the other side, imagine that that order is there complete. And the invoice, the shipping, you know, when the shipping arrives, that, that invoice that's in there that says it, it's your order is here, ma'am. Your order is here. We'll check it off. This is the mansion that you needed, okay? That mansion that you were asking to hold your spirit that, that we're, so that everywhere you look, body, mind, and spirit, health, wealth, happiness, beloved friends, companions, all that you have seeded into motion. And they say to remember you have a cosmic bank account. What is a cosmic bank account? A cosmic bank account, my dear friends, is the ability to walk through the light and to accept and have what they call your cosmic credit card. A cosmic credit card for which all is paid and accepted now. And we accept that now for spirit knows that your hearts are pure. Are your hearts pure? Do I see any pure hearts? Let me know pure hearts. Now, who has a pure heart? Let me know right now. Pure heart. Is your heart pure? For we did work last week on clearing that heart. Go back and find it. Clear that heart so it glistens like this heart. And we did work. Yes, yes, clear heart. We did work on clearing our brilliance didn't we? So we shine, shine, shine brilliantly like my Aunt Pearl's pearl, right? And we did exercises where we bypassed all of those pills and got to the juice and the healing chambers so we could heal our heart and have a brand new start. Today is your day. And so we say, hooray. We say, hooray. All of those pure hearts, pure intentions, clearing out that third eye. We even did an exercise several days ago on clearing out that third eye because I remember it well so that you have pure intentions coming through you. So that right now with me, right now with me, holding open, holding your hands on either side of the curtain of that veil, having put out your letter your your in your your menu your order form okay like the internet order form that sales sheet knowing it's been paid sealed and delivered because on that other side is that shipping invoice where it shows that they have received it so now holding your hands like this on that curtain i want you to open it open it Open it knowing you have done everything. You have aligned yourself properly. And do you see the golden sun? Do you see the pathway that says this way? For they have shown you 
They have marked it clearly. The arrows, the arrows say your path is clear. Suzanne, walk this way. Darren, come on, let's go. Denise, Patricia, right this way, my loves, right this way. Your destiny is unfolding right there for everything you have planted is here. So my loves, I hope this helped. I hope this helped. I look forward to your downloads. I look forward to your feedback. I look forward to hearing what the order up form. So when we leave here, for, don't forget, get out your pen and paper. Imagine now that the cosmos is one big restaurant where you are literally placing your order. I am requesting that all my needs be met. I am requesting the beautiful home where every corner is filled with sacred objects that light up my life, that speak wisdom and truth and that manifest right back to me, the spirit of who I am. I request, I see, I know. So there it is, guys. That is the truth. That is your assignment. That is the most perfect way to go into that new moon eclipse, which is what they are saying. <sighs> the path of no return and the beginning of it all. So in other words, up everything up to this moment no longer connects to the path of your future except as having seeded your destiny. Because what has happened is the seeds have been planted and you are now here in a new dimension on the other side of that veil. And so you get to walk now and choose that pathway. And Spirit has shown that they have lit that up so you cannot miss it. So have fun tonight. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, to continue, to continue knowing that your DNA, your spirit, your passion, your mission has been completely activated. So I love you. I'm Joan of Angels. You can uh, go to my website, joanofangels.com, and uh, sign up to find out more, to be on that mailing list, like our page, subscribe to our YouTube, all of that. Share this with your friends. And most of all, know that I just adore you. I love you. I'm so grateful that you are here with me, allowing me this opportunity to raise all of our vibrations, for it is in the service. It is in the discipline of the service. It is in turning around and sharing your gifts that you too get to walk through that portal and choose the path you know is your path. So listen, right. I love you so. We'll see you tomorrow.